Hi everyone, it's Kerry Ann here from Shabby Art Boutique. I just wanted to pop in and show you um, a print and make project that I've made for myself and that I'm sharing with you this week. It's an ephemera folder that I'm using to store uh, my extra pieces that I had left over from the Bell Vintage French Rose Collection. Um, I do provide in the listing all the papers and things that I have used in making this folder but you don't have to use those. You could use any paper collection you like at all. In fact, this is not the first time I've made this. Um, you might remember last year I had this one, which was from the Rose Garden Tea Rooms Club Kit, which I think by memory was June, June or July. And at the time I did provide you with the bicycle and the front cover and some basic instructions on how to make it, but I didn't give you a template. So since then, I've had a lot of people ask for it. Uh, they quite liked it and had a bit of trouble making it. So what I've done this time is I've provided you with a template for how to make it. So as I said, you don't need to use it with the Bell Collection. You could use it with any papers or you could make it with the Bell Collection and then use it again later on um, with different papers or a different kit. So I have provided all these papers in the project um, instructions. It is five by seven. And mine's a bit of a chunky monkey, I'm afraid. I've got a lot stuffed in there. And I also, I realised after I made it, I probably placed one of the pockets in a, in a poor position. So I'll explain that to you in a moment so you don't do the same thing. But the front cover, I've layered it. I'm not sure if you can even see it on there, that it's all layered. I didn't do too much because I want to store these um, in my bookshelf with my other ones. And I don't want it to be too chunky. It's just going to get squashed. So I haven't done too much on the front cover. But I will just mention here, because of the size of it, it would also be great for happy mail. So um, you wouldn't want to put too much on the front to post it either. But there, I think there's enough decoration on there anyway. So I've just done a ribbon enclosure on it, a seam binding. And on the inside cover, you've got two pockets and the paper, and that's all included in the actual uh, listing. And then this, on this side, we've got the double fold. So you've got the two pockets there as well. And I've just added some lace in there. That's an optional thing. Some people don't like lace, but I think it just makes it really pretty and goes with the bell collection. That flips over and there's another longer pocket on the inside of that cover as well. Then we've got a fold down flap. There's just a little tuck spot here for you to put tags and things in. Let me put this in. This is the pocket I was telling you about that I think I didn't really put in the right position. On the last one I made, I put it a bit higher up in the centre and it all just sat better when I, when I did it up. But I think now the bulk of the um, product's here at the bottom and that's why it's not sitting really well when I close it. So that little pocket there, as I said, that comes in the, in the kit as well. There's two little internal pockets here. And I'll just take out the ephemera so you can actually see what they look like. I actually glued the top there, but you could leave, I thought about this after I'd done it, but you could leave that open and that would be a third pocket in the top there. Um, I have actually given you quarter inch uh, gaps here on the side so that it gives you, give you room to put a few things in there without it um, being too bulky. Unless of course you put the pocket in the wrong place like I did. So I'm going to show you there. So the bottom flap when it folds down on the, on the top, it's got the tuck spot. And when you fold it down, it's got another pocket in there. So there's quite a large area there to put big tags and things. So it just folds back up like that. On the back, I've popped the envelope with the string a string closure on it. And there's another big pocket in there to put larger items as well. So I said it's really quite simple to make. There's only three pieces uh, in the template and probably i don't know about half an hour or so to make that it didn't take me very long at all as i said it's all it's all ready to print and make so all the work's been done for you all you have to do is print it cut it out and assemble it and i've put the template in there i actually used for this one as the base um, just photo paper which i already i was using to print on and i had it there it was handy it's just i use the 250 gsm i'm not exactly sure what that is in i know the us um have a different different weight system they use i could check that up for you and i'll put that down below when i work that out for you so um down below i'll also put the, the listing uh, link and um the link to the actual kit you don't have to have the bell kit 
to have this you could use this for any anything because everything you need to make this as it's shown is actually uh, in the kit that you would be purchasing so you don't um you wouldn't get the fme you wouldn't get all the these little items they're actually in the the kit but you could put anything you like in there if you didn't actually already have the kit so i'm putting that up online today for you and if you have any questions just please let me know but honestly the um, instructions are really simple and straightforward you shouldn't have any issues so i hope you guys like that one and i'll be back in a few days with another project using the bell vintage french rose collection thanks guys